welcome back to Funky Cool Threads. If you guys are new here, my name is Louisa, and today I have a little haul for you guys. So a couple weeks ago, this lady that I know, she's also a reseller, she texted me saying that she was going to have a yard sale, and she has a lot of clothes that she knows that I will like. Well, unfortunately, I wasn't able to make it. Later in the day, like around, I think, 4 in the afternoon, I was driving on my way home, and I figured, you know what, let me stop by and see if she's still having the yard sale, which I knew for a fact... Not even for a fact, I probably knew she wasn't going to be having it anymore, but she had boxes, guys, outside her house for free. So you know there's no shame in my game, I had to look through these free boxes, and that is what the haul is going to be today. Free clothing that I found on the side of the road. So we're just gonna jump into the women's clothing right away. First piece is this amazing wool blazer. I just, oof, I got a little dusty on my face. I love that it's wool, I love that it's gray. I feel like these like power suit like wool blazers are really coming into style with like everyday wear. So I thought these were kind of perfect. It is so pretty freezing where I live. So I figured that's really cool. You can get some wear out of it or if I sell it, someone out there in the world will appreciate it. I will get some good wear out of it still, you know? The next one is made in Italy, and it's this wool blazer as well. Kind of like a coat, I would say, like wool coat blazer. Definitely these are all men's, but I thought they were really cool, and for them being free, I thought they were pretty amazing. This one has some really cute buttons. Um, really cozy, I love the color, I love the pockets in the inside. Overall, really good piece. Another one is this gray one. This one I do like a little bit more just because the threading in between has a little bit of red and blue, so it's different than the first gray one, but also very heavy duty, really cool. Um, just a good classic blazer. This one right here is a Ralph Lauren one. I love the color, also has a little bit of baby blue, some white and beige in there. Overall, really pretty piece. This one, I feel like you could get more styling done with it. Well, all of them mainly, but this one I just really like. I think this one's probably my favorite, but this one was really cool. I did find a pair of pants. This is by the brand Tal Talbots. I think that's how you say it. I don't have no idea. I honestly come across this brand pretty often at the thrift, but they're just a nice classic brown trouser, which I really like. I've been wanting to um, buy more trousers for my wardrobe Necess more more so the ones with like the belt loops because I have a lot of just like the stretchy elastic band ones and I kind of want more like these these seem a little bit low rise so they're probably not going to be good for my um, wardrobe but I do really like just a classic brown trouser because they're really in you can wear them with t-shirts or anything like that so really cool we are going to jump into my most favorite part of this haul which is the shoes guys I cannot believe I found these shoes for free on the side of the road because they're pretty amazing. So, not to mention, they're all in my size. These boots, oh my god, I'm still debating whether I want to keep them in or not, but I love this o-ring detail, this little, I don't know, design, the stitching all along the boot right here. They're pretty amazing. I absolutely love them. The only, only thing that's wrong with them is this insider here. It has like the little, um, what is it called? The fabric or the material is coming undone. But obviously, the zipper covers it. So there's absolutely nothing wrong with it. So it's really cool. I just, I'm like, hello, this is like perfect. This is like a perfect boot. I figured these would be perfect for like a date night or something. I don't know, absolutely love them. I cannot believe I found them. Also found these ones. These are super unique. I absolutely love them, but they're like this purple square toe boot. The heel is really cool looking. I love that it's like, oh, I just noticed that it's cracked. Oh no, I feel like that would be like an easy repair. I don't know if you guys see that. I feel like that'd be an easy repair and honestly not too bad i thought it would be worse and for them to be free not too bad i really love this like snake print like crocodile kind of vibe all along the ankle of the shoe i think it's really pretty the color itself is really gorgeous ah, 
I don't know. These are really cute. These ones definitely won my heart as soon as I saw them. The black ones too, of course. And these ones. I think I just picked these up mainly because of the color, but they're like these pink square toe heels. I just love the design of them. Like the print is kind of like different. It has like this chunky, not so chunky, like square toe heel. It's really rare. It's really rare for me, honestly, to show shoes on in my hauls because I never really pick them up. But I figured because these were free and honestly, like in the greatest condition for them being like just thrown out. I figured why not? The bottom is kind of worn, but you can always put on those little like slip thingies. I probably won't end up selling these just because I don't know how much how long they're going to last. But I thought these were really cool. Now we're going to jump into the best part of this haul which is the baby clothes and not necessarily baby but like toddler clothing guys i found so much toddler clothing some vintage some not the first piece is this little corduroy jacket from old navy it's a 3t so my daughter probably won't be able to fit in this this winter but i know it'll fit my son but it's this beautiful blue corduroy jacket with a sherpa lining so freaking cute like this is adorable. I absolutely love this. My son has one of these in brown already. So I figured this is just perfect that we're just adding to his collection of corduroy jackets. And it's absolutely warm. So I thought that was super cute. This one, unfortunately, it's not going to be for either of my kids. I'm thinking about giving this to my friend for her baby. Um, I know she's probably going to fit into this once it's summertime. It says 18 months. So she's not going to be 18 months by summer. I think she'll be maybe close to a year, but I figured she can still fit in this this summer. Wear it kind of oversized, but look how cute that is with the collar and the colors. So freaking cute. And honestly, I figured she could wear this now this summer and next summer. My daughter still fits in a lot of her 2T like um, dresses. Like she wears them as like shirts and just like you know or like even dresses that she wore as a baby like they were not for her till she was like a year old and she still wore them so i figured this was kind of perfect i just absolutely love this lace trimming look at the little pocket the little pocket that is so freaking cute oh i had to pick this up i could not get it left i could not leave it behind i that is just meant for her this one i'm obsessed with i want to say they're vintage vintage mervins and these are gonna be for my daughter i'm thinking about just taking in the waist a little bit because i feel like it is a little bit shot out oh yeah you can hear it squeaking but i love these colors it's giving me like major like clown vibes which my daughter is all for like she loves dressing like a little clown and these are just perfect i can't wait to like fix them and just cinch in the waist a little bit so freaking cute the colors are perfect something that i picked up that will match the pants probably not be worn together but it's this like cute little vintage like just t-shirt which she needs more of i always find her like the cutest stuff and let me show you guys this tag look at how adorable that tag is oh my god she's gonna look so cute in this perfect for the upcoming season spring and summer is her thing guys like Oh my god, I have so much stuff already saved for her. This top, I don't know if it's going to fit my daughter. It is for two years, but because it's a little bit more loose fitting, it might. But I I love this one so much. It has clowns all over it. If it doesn't end up fitting her, I'm probably going to end up giving this to my friend as well. But look at all the cute little clowns. Oh my gosh. It's so cute. I love the little clowns on it. I'm obsessed. I'm really sad because I'm pretty sure this isn't going to fit her, but I couldn't leave this one behind either. It's just so adorable. And I just love having friends who have babies who are girls because I swear, girls get the cutest vintage baby stuff. Like, I have the hardest time finding boy vintage. And I can't say it enough. Girls' baby vintage clothes is the absolute best. This one's a little funky. It's... It looks like someone bought it at the in the Bay Area. It has like a nice vintage tag made in the USA. Really cool, but it has this family drawn onto it and it's like this jumpsuit or this, um, I would say this like a, what would this be? Like a, oh my God, oh my God. Am I really blinking out already? Oh my God, what is this called? Uh, a white suit? 
onesie a onesie a onesie so this is like a toddler onesie and it's like in a baby pink it's picking up a little a little peachy on camera but it's like this very pink like onesie and then on the bottom it says behind every great kid are great parents which i thought was really cute but i just don't like that it says mom carly and dad so my daughter's name is not carly but i feel like she could still wear this and rock this and make it look super cute so i just had to get her i just had to save her as well so we got that going on for her this is also a 2t like dress which i'm thinking my daughter can probably just wear as a shirt if it doesn't fit her like if it's too short but it's a little vintage little spring summer dress love the color it's like a t-shirt kind of material it has the cute little tag ah! so freaking cute with the little pockets adorable we had to get that one as well don't worry we're almost to the end next piece is this little international concepts wow i didn't know they made kids clothes and this actually fits her now it's a 3t but look at how cute it is this little purple top with a little bit of embroidery flowers and little butterflies super freaking cute it looks more of like a crappie kind of type but i mean she wears high-waisted pants anyway so it'd be perfect oh my god i just noticed the buttons little heart-shaped buttons girl are you really not gonna tell me that the oh my god like the kids little girl clothes the freaking cutest and i have one more piece and i am obsessed with it because i know my daughter's gonna go crazy for these but they're like these little bloomer like shorts and they have like little carrots on them and they're blue stripes this is gonna be perfect for her for easter i can't wait to put these under like a little dress for her the only thing i have to fix is obviously the waistband i can hear it like cracking and stuff but other than that, I thought this was really freaking cute. I can't wait for her to wear these. They're freaking adorable. Last but certainly not least is another blanket. I am just a sucker for these blankets. I buy them all the time. And at one point, I was collecting them a little bit too hard because I was having an overflow of blankets. But during ThriftCon, I sold all of them. I think I only have two left. So I'm going to be selling these at my markets. I sell them very cheap too. I know some people sell them for like over 40 bucks, over 30 bucks. I sell these for 10 or $15 just because I don't get them for that expensive. And they're like a good affordable price for everyone, you know? So I don't know. I just had to pick up the blanket. It's one of my favorite things to get. So yeah, so that's going to be the end of today's haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know there wasn't a thrifting portion to this video, but honestly, this was kind of random. Um, this just shows you guys, you guys don't always have to save clothes by going thrift store shopping or going to the Goodwill bins. Maybe you just have to follow some free signs. If you guys see some boxes on the side of the road in front of someone's house, do not be shy to look through them because you never know what you can find. As you guys can see, I found some really good stuff that I honestly did not expect to find and I cannot... I cannot believe I was able to share this with you guys. As always, thank you guys so much for watching me, supporting me, and just being here and talking with me about clothes. I really appreciate you guys taking your time just, you know, being here with me. So I will see you guys next week with a brand new video or Sunday, I believe. Yeah, Sunday. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your week. Bye.